In the heart of the Amazon rainforest, a giant lurks, the Theraphosa blondi, revered as the Goliath bird-eater. Join us on an awe-inspiring expedition into the world of this colossal arachnid, as we delve into its evolutionary history, ecological significance, and the challenges it confronts. Deep in the rainforests of northern South America lurks one of the largest and most impressive arachnid species in the world, the Goliath bird-eating spider. True to its ominous name, this massive tarantula is more than capable of overpowering small birds and reptiles, though it primarily feasts on insects and rodents. A relatively reclusive and gentle giant when undisturbed, the Goliath holds a terrifying yet fascinating reputation fueled by its sheer size, striking appearance, and the tales it has inspired. This documentary pulls back the veil on the biology, habits, and ecological significance of Earth's biggest spider. Evolutionary History The Goliath bird-eating spider belongs to the diverse tarantula family Theraphosidae containing over 1,000 described species distributed across the warmer tropical and subtropical regions of the world. The Theraphosidae are believed to have originated around 170 to 190 million years ago during the late Jurassic period based on molecular clock estimates. The Goliath spider's genus Theraphosa comprises seven known species native to northern regions of South America in Venezuela, Suriname, Guyana, French Guiana, and northern Brazil. The distinct species T. blondi likely diverged from a common ancestor shared with close Venezuelan relatives like T. apophysis around 15 to 20 million years ago during the late Miocene. As a highly derived member of Theraphosides, primitive dwarf subfamily, it retains remnant traits like heavy defensive bristles and potent venom. Remarkably well-preserved fossils of dinosaur-era tarantula ancestors have been recovered from regions like Myanmar encased in ancient amber deposits. These fossils indicate the great antiquity and minimal evolutionary changes to this lineage's fundamental biology over incredible timescales. Morphological Description As the largest spider in the world based on leg span and weight, adult female goliath bird-eating spiders are truly colossal arachnids. Their leg spans can reach up to 30 centimeters, 1 foot, in diameter with bodies measuring up to 11 centimeters, 4.5 inches, in length. Weights over 170 grams, 6 ounces, have been recorded, about as heavy as a mouse or small bat. Males are significantly smaller at just 60 to 90 grams. The species' common name refers to its almost hairy appearance provided by dense covering of stiff urticating bristles across its body and legs. These bristles act as a defensive deterrent as they contain microscopic hooks releasing a potent irritant when dislodged into a predator's skin or eyes. A dark brown base coloration helps camouflage the spider amidst rotting leaf litter and soil environments. However, banding patterns of reddish-slash-pinkish bristles create accent stripes across its legs giving a semi-vibrant visual contrast, their stout bodies and robust calissery, mouth appendages, permit subduing exceptionally large prey for an invertebrate. For large fangs connected to potent venom glands allow quickly immobilizing vertebrate and insect prey alike. Ecology. In their native rainforest ecosystems, goliath bird-eating spiders perform critical roles as apex invertebrate predators regulating populations of countless species from insects, rodents, frogs, and even snakes or birds when circumstances permit. Almost no other predator on earth displays comparable capability to overpower prey so disproportionately larger than its own size. While fearsome arachnid hunters, they rely almost entirely on an ambush-based sit-and-wait strategy to conserve energy rather than actively pursuing prey. Incredibly sensitive hair like trichobothria detect even low-frequency vibrations of any small animal wandering near the spider's hidden burrow. Then the tarantula seizes its moment to launch a powerful ambush attack capable of swiftly immobilizing almost any creature unfortunate enough to pass within its predatory strike range. Habitat and Behavior the Goliath spider's distribution centers around the northeastern coastal rainforests of South America including portions of Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, French Guiana, and northern Brazil. Though preferring humid tropical conditions, they occur over a fairly wide range of elevations from lowland jungles to mountain slopes up to around 1,500 meters. Their habitats are associated with deep detritus and soils accumulated under semi-open rainforest canopies that allow debris concentrations for burrowing and microhabitats with cyclic temperature swings to permit basking for thermoregulation. Away from these dark tunnels and smooth-walled burrow retreats, the spiders are relatively unlikely to wander far as their movements are clumsy and lethargic in open areas. Females especially exhibit reluctance to leave home unless compelled by events like habitat disturbance or searching for a new protected residence. 
mature males must disperse from natal territories to locate females for mating through perception of specialized pheromones and stridulation signals, the males rub body parts together to produce courtship vibrations. If a male successfully navigates finding a receptive female without becoming her meal first, he bites her exoskeleton during insemination. Attentive yet indiscriminate mothers provide a protective retreat within silken egg sacs where hundreds of spiderlings gestate while the mother stands guard for around six to nine months. Even after hatching, the mother will continuously maintain the brood's envelope for up to three more months before the offspring finally disperse independently. Conclusion as a highly adapted predator and living remnant from the age of dinosaurs, the iconic Goliath bird-eating spider inspires well-deserved biological intrigue and fascination. Despite its menacing size and stark warning bristles, this is a fundamentally docile and reclusive species that poses little threat to humans while occupying invaluable ecological niches. Their voracious appetite for controlling populations of rainforest pests ultimately promotes biodiversity and sustains the health of tropical ecosystems. But unfortunately the spiders themselves face manifold pressures from deforestation, overcollecting for the international pet trade, and perpetual human encroachment into remaining patches of suitable habitat. Raising awareness and implementing greater legal protections will prove critical to ensure the Goliath bird-eating spider never becomes a living dinosaur destined to walk the earth no more. As a flagship invertebrate representative of the astounding biodiversity contained within South American rainforests, Preserving this species would not only be a symbolic victory, but an enduring one for conservation of the entire region's ecological heritage.